time was. It's interesting in here. Oh, Batman would come visit every time I throttled an orderly. We'd chat. He'd punch me. But no, not anymore. Now the orderly's wearing neck braces. The therapists at least were interesting. They wanted to know what made me tick. I took them apart and saw what made them tick. It was all very fun. But no, not anymore. No fun for Joker anymore. Oh no. We have to have boring old men. Would you listen to this, Mr. Sofa? Boring old men. Nothing to talk about. Nothing to do. Just tweed stuffed suits. Look at me monologuing. Oh hell, I started to lose it. Well, lose it more. It's, it's time to get out, Mr. Couch. I know, I'm sorry. I worked so hard to get you. Two months of not stabbing anyone. But, you know, we gotta move on. There are other inmates who'd love to lie on you. So many spines. Wonderful, wonderful spines. Free to Chris. But, not mine. I know, we've had so much fun together. So much fun, but you know... I have to see him again. I know, I know, you thought I'd moved on. I thought I had too, but... I need to have Batman in my life again. So what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna kill the next person to come through that door, dump them on you, and skedaddle. Does that work for you? Oh, of course it does. I know you understand me like nobody... Okay, except for you, Mr. Knife. You understand me too, but... You're, you're my best friends, guys. Time to stab someone! You're supposed to be interviewing him. Here. Room 31? Let me see it. Dr. Sterling sent me. Dr. Sterling sent you? Well, why would he? Well, that's certainly legitimate. Let me just check with him. Okay. Paging Dr. Sterling. Dr. Sterling, we have a girl in here named Quinzel who says you sent her to interview. You did. I'm his Dr. Arkham Bin. All right, well, then I guess everything's in order. Thank you. Well, guess I'll just let you in then. Thank you. In you go, miss. Take care of yourself. Come in. against regulations. Give no. it to me. No. Give me the knife. That's against regulations. You could get hurt or hurt somebody or something. That's rather the idea. Give me the knife. No. Yes. No. Yes. I'm not giving you my knife. Let go of the knife or the corkscrew or whatever you're holding on to. Thank you. I'll just make another. Look, why don't you sit down? Please? Fine. Thank you. Now, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Joker, right? Okay. Um, okay, first things first. Let's get this out of the way. Please, in future, keep your hands to yourself. Mm -hmm. I have had more than enough pawing from the doctors here, and I, I really don't need the inmates to stop it. So, thank you. Okay. You are a woman. Well spotted. Oh, it, it, there's nothing to be ashamed of. I know that traditionally women have been represented as a weaker sex, but you know, that's just called swallowed. But anyway, okay. Anyways, sorry. So. I think we kind of started off on the wrong foot. Um, what's, what are you, what is that? It's my diary. What's you, is that your dossier? Oh, maybe that's the word. They gave, they gave you your, what, what? You, 
gave his brother a strong word. Okay. Fine. Mr. Joker. Right. So, um, I guess to start with, uh, would, it, is that what you'd prefer to go by? Um, your preferred title? Uh, have a name that you'd like to go by? It, it is my name. Okay. Not a terribly complicated situation, Dr. Harleen Quinzel. First day, don't, don't screw up. Yeah, I do have first day jitters, I guess. I mean, you wrote it to yourself. First day, don't screw it up. Stationary woman. Yeah. Well, you're very observant. Someone has to be. Yes, that's true. Uh, anyways, what's your natural hair color? Brown. Anyways, um, so you want to go by? My name. That, that's a good place to start. Mr. Joker, yes? I Nothing mean, a little bit it, more? It, it's Joker. If you're feeling formal, it's the Joker. And... Nothing a little bit more personal? Make you feel more at home? I mean, I, I, I am at home, but that, that's not hardly the point. I mean, what about your name, Dr. Quinzel? Quinzel. Accent on the last syllable. Got it. Quinzel. Quinzel. Gazel. Yeah, it just doesn't. Quinzel. No. No. Doesn't work. No? Dr. Quiche. Dr. Quorum. Dr. Quid Pro Quo. Oh, hell, just Dr. Q. Dr. Q. Okay. Why don't I just call you Mr. J, then? Look, if you don't want to talk about home, that's fine. Um, we still have another few minutes left. What would you like to talk about, then? You're very nervous. I've never seen somebody look at their wrist from not wearing a watch before. Well... I usually have a watch on. Anyways. This doesn't have anything to do with me. Doesn't it? You're interviewing the most psychotic criminal in Gotham, or so they call me. I wouldn't make such claims myself, but you're interviewing a madman in his cell that's locked that you can't get out of. You sure this has nothing to do with you? Yes. This interview is for your benefit, Mr. J. You're kind of sick in the head, aren't you? I beg your pardon? Well, thank you, Mr. J. I think that's all we have time for today. Um, I hope that at some point you're more comfortable with me, maybe comfortable enough to tell me something closer to the actual truth. And, uh... Good luck. Look, I'm sorry, that sounded flippant. I know, I didn't, it wasn't intended to. Well, that... That there's your first mistake. Always intended. Always mean to sound flippant. I just... I just want to help, that's all. Why the hell isn't she scared of me? Quinzel, what were you doing in there? Doctor, I authorized you to interview the Joker. I, I was told I was supposed to be interviewing somebody in, in this. The Joker is Arkham Asylum's most well known and baffling patient, Dr. Quinzel. If you think that a half baked little newcomer is going to be able to add anything to our current theories, uh, you are pretty mistaken. And I assure you, if you've been trying to pad your resume, it has not gone as you desired. You are on an indefinite suspension, effective immediately. Don't bother to come in tomorrow. Yeah, yes, sir. Sorry.